Orsini. I'm doing it with the legendary Hank today. He's our first time doing this. So uh, it's going to be a tango. If I step on his toes, uh, just give me a little nudge. Uh, we are going to kind of unpack how EXP Realty works uh, from an industry standpoint, and then from, uh, most importantly, an agent standpoint, and then how we're compensated because we are an ownership company. Uh, we own this company. We're shareholders. Uh, if you guys get bored at any time this uh, conversation, just send a quick chat and Nikia will wake you up. Uh, I know it's about 50 minutes. You're going to drink out of a fire hydrant, not out of a garden hose, but um, it's the only way we can get this thing dialed in in less than an hour. So put your seatbelt on. We are going to explain how EXP Realty works. And the way that I like to break it up is a three lane highway. We have lane one, which is selling real estate. We're going to show you how we sell real estate here. The technology that we have, the healthcare, all of the lead generation, the support, the cloud-based world that we use as an office, all of that stuff we show you in lane one. We're all used to this lane. This is where we speed, we take chances, we make a lot of money, and hopefully we save some of it. Nothing unfamiliar to you guys. We have a lane two only at EXP, and that's being a shareholder. They're going to continue to issue you stock, and you have an ability to outperform the model. So you can continually become a larger shareholder every year that you sell real estate. And why is that important? Well, honestly, the stock's gone from $7 a share to, to $82 as a high while COVID happened because we're a virtual real estate company, right? So um, in hindsight, we were more brilliant than, than we had anticipated in, at the moment. So stock is a very important thing. We're trading on the NASDAQ. It's a big deal. Uh, uh, we're a front running company. So uh, EXPI is the ticker. Uh, if you do zone out, Google that real quick and take a look. Lastly, we have lane three. This is the modern team 2.0. You can actually build your team outside of your zip code and you don't have to be liable and have to support them all exclusively. EXP does a ton of it for you. I'd say 95% of it. So we're going to show you what that looks like. I've been able to indirectly bring over 1,300 agents in 40 states and in nine countries to EXP. So I'm going to show you exactly how that worked. Um, and if you have any interest in the revenue share part, please dial in. This is for the entrepreneurs and the team leaders and the brokerage owners of this conversation. If you never want to talk to an agent about EXP, don't worry about it. 99.5% of the agents feel the exact same way here. So you never have to talk about it. But if you're influential or you have good friends in California and you live in Florida and you're selling multiple states, these relationships actually can put you guys to work with the people that you care about the most. So let's get right into the heart of it. Uh, right off the bat, we're going to cover who we are, our business model. We're going to show you our cloud campus, which the Department of Defense is using, and 30,000 people at, I won't say the name, but I think you can figure out the company who's got 30,000 employees, and all of Stanford University College and all these other outside real estate industry companies are using our cloud with COVID, and some of them before COVID. Uh, we have eXp Solutions. Believe it or not, there are problems in this business. 22 years of being in here, totally white-headed. 43 years old, uh, we know what the blind spots look like and we have solutions on day one and then joining EXP if that's something that you feel compelled to do. So this guy on the right hand side here is the guy that founded EXP out of Bellingham, Washington. Uh, he had important internet startups. He was a stockbroker. He's a real tech guy at heart. Uh, but most importantly, he's an entrepreneur. And he got into real estate back in 2002. I think Glenn, I just read on the internet was 55 years old. So, so, you know, he was in his 30s, he got into real estate, and within four years of being in real estate at Keller Williams, he had his team selling $60 million of business, and he was doing it by contacting his clients online, by generating his leads online, because he was savvy, and the rest of us in 2002 were still trying to figure out how to build a $10,000 website. So Glenn thought that the agents were doing a disproportionate amount of service to the mothership of the brokerage, and it was a unilateral relationship. So he ran this idea of having a cloud-based brokerage, which could eliminate expenses, expand the map, and give agents back some of that hard-earned money that we're paying to the company. And nobody was a big fan of it. So in 2009, he had to step away and create EXP Realty. So we were founded in 2009. In 2010, we opened up our first 11 states. In 2011, Swanpole recognized us as the up-and-coming mover in the industry. By 2012, Glenn Sanford was recognized as one of the top 100 most influential people in the industry. In 2013, Glenn's initial vision came to fruition. We became publicly traded on the pink sheets. EXPI is the world holding company. And we were able to make every owner at this company at, in, at EXP that were selling houses shareholders. So no franchise, 
no territories, no cutting up the map and all the hands in each person's pockets, straight up one brokerage owned by the agents. 2014, we launched into Canada. Why is that? Well, we can launch anywhere. If there's internet, we're able to go over there. That's why we opened up six countries in the last two and a half months. In 2015, we created two very, very big programs. I don't know why I keep saying we, because I wasn't in Glenn's pocket when we were doing this here, but EXP created two big programs to attract the top independent brokerages to come over here and use our platform and keep their autonomy, but plug into EXP and for all of the mega agents and overachievers to come over here. We didn't want the, we didn't want the most amount of agents. We wanted the top producing agents at this company to come to EXP and show the rest of the industry what this looks like at the highest level. We wanted to create margin, you know? So what we did at EXP is they took a 5% of your commission. They allowed you to take that 5% on any deals or just a few deals, whichever one you wanted, you earmark it and buy the stock at a 10% discount. Now that stock was $2.87 when I came over here in 2017. You won't see that on the timeline. Um, and now it's trading at, well, let's see, $62. Is that right? Uh, $60 even right now. So a lot of us have become uh, reasonably wealthy by owning thousands of shares of stock at eXp for doing what? Well, same thing I did the last 22 years, sell real estate. Okay. In 2006, oh, also the Icon Agent Award. So the Icon Agent Award was actually here to allow the overachievers, the top 1% of realtors in the country that sell, you know, $500,000 of gross commission income or, you know, typically 40 deals, somewhere in that range. I'll, I'll, I'll break this down for you in more detail. And they took this program to where you could actually hit that number and they'll give you the entire cap, all the commission that you paid the year back to you in stock. So you're virtually working here retroactively for 100%. We'll explain that in great detail. In 2016, something big happened. We went from being 500 agents to 1,500 agents in 2016. And we brought over the legendary people in the business that actually gave us a lot of credibility, like Gene Frederick, who owns six Keller Williams uh, market centers between California and Texas, and Brent Gove, who ran the number one Remax and then the number one Keller Williams team in Sacramento. And, you know, Jay Kinder, who's a big coach in Oklahoma and all these big producing hey, agents. Hey, hey, what am I, chopped liver? And, and Hank Havoc, who came from <laughs> Keller Williams, Michigan. <laughs> so, Agent um, number 996, and we had, our stock was at 96 cents. And I got to tell you, I came over for one reason. I thought if this thing's going to hit, it's going to hit big. And here we are. So Rich, I'm sorry. I just had to get my little plug in there. So was that 2015 or 16, Hank? It was, it was uh, March 1st, 2016. We had 996 agents and it took me 18 months before I had any victories with EXP. Yet here's the key. I was in the game. And Rich, you said something earlier and I'll make it quick. You got to be in the game for other things to happen. And little did I know how important it was to be in the game back then. And when you said it's given us marginal wealth, um, I think that's an understatement. And I, I, I will leave it at that. So back to you, man. No, what I was saying on that, Hank, I agree with you. Well, I was giving us margin. So what happens is that, you know, oftentimes a lot of these companies have like one or two of the top 10 uh, producing agents in their market. Well, when we were getting the top 10 agents in the country from a production standpoint, it allowed margin for agents like myself, who I did 43 million in 2017, but I've never done 2000 transactions. So it actually set a higher margin, a higher bandwidth for us to, to continue to grow and have people to share back with us trading secrets. Um, no, I totally agree. Hank, there's been nothing marginal about the wealth that we've been able to achieve at eXp. So um, actually, I don't mind if you jump in at any point on any screen. I'm gonna have certain screens that you run through, but yep. I'd like you to jump in. Let's change it up today. We've been doing the same thing for 18 months. So 2017, um, they omitted me just like I omitted Frank. So we both got, I mean, Hank, because we both got stuck for two years uh, consecutively. Uh, in 2018, EXP hit 10,000 agents. It took Caldwell Banker 68 years to hit that number. It took Keller Williams 18 years to hit that number. So we did it in no time, really less than 10 years uh, 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 operating as a, as a virtual company. Also in 18, we became Glassdoor Best Place to Work, 19 and 20. In 2018, we were in Times Square on the NASDAQ, ringing the bell. And then in 2018, uh, Glenn got his uh, due and was the broker owner award winner for Inman. 
which is the, the, the industry's highest standard of reporting uh, real estate news. So Hank, you take over this screen on Agent Count because you were here uh, a year and a half before I was. Tell me what Perfect. This so, you know, we've all read the book, The One Thing, and, and I'd like to give homage to one of the industry leaders, Gary Keller, who's done a lot for my life. And he talked about the hockey stick. And that's what you're going to see right here is a hockey stick going on. It is my prediction. Now, I'm not part of corporate that we are going to see the US agent count go to 100,000 agents in the next 12 to 18 months. So for those of you that are thinking that the, that it's passed you by, you're completely wrong. If you look at the math, which I have tattooed right here, the math shows us that the greatest opportunity right now for wealth building is in the next 12 to 18 months. And we have, we have made the road for you. When I came over, it was like running through a forest. Now you have a five lane super highway and the math makes even more sense than it ever has. Furthermore, I believe internationally, I was on a call this morning with my Australian partners. We're going to grow to 100,000 agents internationally within 18 to 36 months. Now, when we look at the exponential growth opportunity, and I'd like everybody to write this down, it's the only business model that you're rewarded to have people outgrow you. Let me say that one more time and then I'll pass it off to you, Rich. This is the only business model where you are rewarded to have people outgrow you. I've had a real estate team and every time I helped a buyer's agent figure it out, they would move on and I stopped getting paid. It made it tough to help people outgrow you. Glenn has solved that problem and has given us the greatest business model in the world because you don't have to hold anybody back. Rich, floor is yours. Hank's exactly right, man. EXP has grown from one person's idea by an organic word of mouth grassroots platform to go from having 50 agents in the cloud and the cloud would break down and everybody gets kicked out of their virtual office to having 56,000 people log on during our convention in October, right? We have now, we were at 2015, 500 agents. When Hank came over here, uh, he was saying he was in the 900s, right? So by the end of 2016, we still only hit 2,000, 2,500 agents. By the end of 2017, the year I came over, it was 3,800 agents in October. We hit 5,000 agents uh, uh, at the end of that year. 2018, 15,000 agents. 2019, uh, uh, almost 30,000 agents. 2020, uh, 41,000 agents. 2021 gets into the predictions, but we're looking at about 100,000 agents, right? So what happens is that no other company has ever grown this fast, not only in uh, the United States, but also in the UK. We're bigger than Keller Williams. Uh, that took them six years to get to 120 estate agents. Uh, we got there in about nine months. We're about 145 estate agents. So this is an ownership play. You guys aren't going to rent your careers anymore, just like we tell tenants not to rent a house. This is your home. So you can get comfortable and make the long haul here. And the agent count is showing exactly how that happens. Hank, you want to cover any of the core values or you want to roll through the screen? I did transparency. Now with the growth that we have, there are some challenges. And here's, here's what I love about being an entrepreneur is it's fun. There was a challenge in Canada where our agents weren't getting paid. And I called up the president at the time and I said, Hey, what's going on? Here was the answer. Hey, Hank, we made a bad hire. We've got some problems. I don't know when we're going to be able to fix it. It's probably going to be 30, 60, 90 days. I'm sorry. I don't have a better answer yet. That's the truth. How many of you can handle the truth so you know what's going on? I did not lose one single agent because we knew exactly what was going on. The transparency at our company is second to none. We have not hit that corporate level yet where we aren't BSed as far as making us feel like we're idiots. We know what's going on when there's a problem. When you look at these core values, it's the only company that I've ever been with where audio matches video. And if you see it not matching, you have the ability to call it out. And that's what I love about our leadership is I've called some things out without the fear of being um, outcasted or set, set out to see. Our core values are lived by by our leadership and the day that they aren't is the day that I step back. Rich. So everything here on this core value setup, I feel like has been missing in this industry. I ran the second biggest team for Remax in the state of North Carolina. Um, I did 104 short sales in 2009. I didn't feel any community. I felt like I was in a room full of competitors. Um, fun was doing like a, you know, a community uh, garbage pickups once a year and stuff like that. I don't know if we were having a ton of fun. We were having a lot of fun in my office space because it was my team that I hand selected to come work with me. Um, hey, Rich, look at this. 
collaboration. You and I are completely different um, rev share lines, organizations, yet you and I have banded together with Elizabeth and Mitch to provide as much value as we can for everybody within EXP. And that's what I love is the collaboration in the abundance that comes from leaders like you. I mean, partnerships, man, we're partners. You know, uh, uh, Hank's a shareholder and a partner for me. So what, what Hank's doing out in Michigan definitely applies to the, the group that I have here in North Carolina. Um, innovation, we're gonna show you what that looks like firsthand. Integrity, do the right thing. Uh, this is, you know, there's, this is not a yes, uh, uh, yes men company. This is business owners, brokerage owners, mega team owners, professional people that are in the industry at a high level, all shareholders of the company with input and contribution. Service, we have 600 people in the cloud right now waiting to answer any question you have, whether it's IT tech, accounting, a, a, a paycheck, um, a transaction, your broker in charge, all of it. Sustainability. Just Let me like jump in there. I got a message from Glenn in November saying, hey, we've got a problem. We need the top 50 influencers to come to Bellingham. He, he had us, 50 of us come in and he said, here's the problem that we're having. You may have heard in the past that EXP is not making any money. They're bringing in more revenue. They're not making any more money. And here's why Glenn was overpaying us. How many of you, if, if you overpaid your cap, would ask for your money back? See, our revenue share is set up that Glenn pays out 50% of the revenue and he was paying out up to 68% at times because he wanted to honor and pay us and do the right thing but that didn't make it sustainable. He brought us influencers in and said, here's how I think we can fix it. The influencers gave our idea on how to fix it. He went with ours and now we're sustainable. What I love about this company is he's willing to make the tough decisions to make sure that we survive and he gets us involved. I've never seen leadership actually get the leaders involved and then have our, our influence, our ideas actually implemented. So just to, just to kind of simplify that just a touch, uh, EXP takes 50% of the gross revenue and they pay it back to us as agents. So to keep that ratio is really probably the most perfect example of fairness I've seen within the industry. Uh, and, and Glenn's done a very good job at walking that tightrope, making sure that the company is profitable and that the agents are making 50% of the gross revenue. He pays his bills out of his 50%. And then transparency, it's very easy to see what our company looks like, right? Uh, you can just go, the FTC and the SEC monitors everything we do, uh, just go on to Apple News or, or any source. So how does a virtual real estate company operate in the world, right? I mean, traditional real estate brokerage has been saying that we can't sustain ourselves, that, they're, that agents can't work remotely. But we watched Netflix disrupt Blockbuster, put them in bankruptcy court. We watched Amazon sell socks and products and plants and everything else under the sun uh, to you right at your doorstep. We watched uh, travel agencies go out of business. Uh, you just go on Expedia and, and bulk the whole trip up in, in 10 minutes online. We watched Yellow Cab take a hit by Uber and Lyft. We watched online dating replace in-person dating. We watched everything change. But why is real estate the same way? Well, it's very, very... Uh, beneficial to real estate uh, franchise owners and, and, and brokerage owners to have us create their retirement plan. At EXP, we don't have that. We got rid of the costly overhead, the being locally confined. Um, if, if I have an agent that's in uh, 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 you know, Nebraska that I went to high school with and they want to join EXP, we can be on the same team here because our cloud virtual office makes no difference about our geography, right? I do my sales meetings on my Bluetooth while I'm driving my car, you know? Um, locally confined has been a big problem. That's how companies are not able to scale. They have to do the franchise model and then you got to spend $250,000 to have an opportunity to be a big shot. At EXP, we can do lane three at any point if we want. All we have to do is invite an agent to come look at it and see if it's a good fit. And then we work together for a lifetime as shareholders. Inconsistent growth incentives. All these independent brokerages have one recruiter or the owner or a broker record out there trying to expand the office. At EXP, you never have to play with that at all, but all 41,000 of us have the ability to send an invitation out and work with the people that we have been competing against forever. Limited technology and support. This is never going to be more apparent to you than in the next 10 minutes, okay? We have a cloud campus environment. We have skyscrapers and boat rides and soccer fields and virtual offices and bars and auditoriums and anything else you can imagine in the cloud with avatars that embody what our physical presence would be to help support us and interact and collaborate like nothing you've ever seen. Live training, 
50 to 100 hours of live training every single week taught by people like Hank, not that not hobbyist, people that have sold an icon, which we'll show you what that is. That's the top 1% of our selling agents. So at that point, if you've iconed, that's what allows you to be promoted to a teacher in our train on our campus. You're not learning from people that are selling four houses a year. If you're selling four houses a year. Our entire goal is to help you sell eight or 10 if that's within your vision. Real time support, international collaboration. Out of the 1300 agents that I have, I have 145 in the UK. I have uh, about four or five in Canada and I have one in Australia. Hank has a big group in Australia, but we have the ability to cross oceans, let along state lines. And then lastly, powerful equity ownership. We're all shareholders here. So the cloud campus, I'm gonna go through this part real fast. The cloud, cloud campus allows us to work anywhere, no desk fees. We cut all of our overhead brick and mortar. We are not against brick and mortar. I'm sitting in one right now. You can go get your own key man space or you can use one of our 3000 Regis executive locations across the world for free because we've aligned with them. And you can go in there and use their conference room and their flex space out in the lounge. No expensive leases means that we've taken our expense list and put it on a New Year's Eve diet, right? We are operating off a very, very thin, thin margin of expenses here. Paperless transactions, no need for printers anymore. We're totally green and then get instant access and training with the, with the live campus uh, uh, and avatar. Our training calendar comes out every Sunday night. Again, it's 50 to 100 hours, plus what Hank, Mitch, and Elizabeth, and the rest of us all do here live in our own special group. We do supplemental training for our group, but that's where you can get all your training on sales and listings and lead generation and farming and geo farming and social media and CRMs and dispersonality types and all of the things that will make you a more well-rounded, competent, productive, effective agent. Online support. I hate waiting for a broker in charge to return my phone call for nine hours. Just not into it. Normally when I have a, a problem, it needs an immediate solution because we have people and panic and people typically goes up and not down with time, right? So I could just go right into the cloud anywhere from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern time and go talk to my broker in charge or whoever's sending out the commission to the paralegal or uh, onboarding systems. And now even soon enough, all of our closing coordinators will be able to have a la carte if we need them all in the cloud. We've got 600 people. My MacBook has a problem. I can't see Hank on my Zoom. I go right into the cloud. They hijack my computer. I sit there and scratch my head. They fix it and off I go, no bill. Um, so Hank, I'll let you hit the next one. Talk about the international collaboration. Well, I, I want to go back real quick to the real-time support. Here's what I love about it is I go to work to get paid. I go to work to support my family. And if I have a question, I want it answered. And I don't have to worry about, you know, Kylie being on vacation because her kid's sick or whatever and wait till Monday for the answer. There's a backup to a backup to the backup. I've never once gone in the cloud and not gotten my answer. I haven't always liked the answer. I'll be honest there. However, I've never not gotten the answer that I needed. So let's go to international collaboration real quick. This is where I, I don't know if all of us are paying enough attention to this. And here's why. When we look at the gross domestic product that we're going into with all the different companies, we have the ability to scale. Why? Because we don't have the brick and mortar challenges of franchising and everything else when we go into new countries. The reality is, is that the growth that we're growing, it's because of our business model and we don't have duplication and we don't have the barriers of entry. You watch, we're going to grow faster than any other real estate company has ever dreamt of. And now think about this. When I had, I had clients in Houston, Texas, when there was floods there, their business was wiped out. The more that we go international, the more protected we are for our families. I have agents in Canada. I believe we're getting close to hundred agents in Canada. We have 50 agents in Australia. If the U S all goes to um, I was going to use a swear word and I didn't. So good for you, Hank. It gives us resiliency. Who would like to have more resiliency when it comes to your income streams and what you're doing to provide for your family? And here, here's the last point that I'd like to make. 11 years ago, my son was born and he had to have open heart surgery and I was ripped out of me producing for my family. And I said, never again will I be in a spot where all of my income is dependent on me showing up. 11 years later, I'm in a spot where I have enough income coming in from different revenue sources that I don't have to show up anymore. I have freedom. The reason I'm on this call right now is to impact each and every one of you to find the freedom that Rich and I have found for our families. And that's why we're here today is to give back. Would you agree with that, Rich? Yeah, totally. I mean, when you sign up for eXp, you have your, your, your one stream, which is what we all have you know, hung our hats on, which is selling real estate. 
And then you got your second stream, which is earning stock that has been performing uh, to the point where it's a buzz around Wall Street, buzz on. We were on every uh, uh, national news channel in the last two months that you can think of. And then the third stream is the ability to bring over colleagues that you like, let's not bring over everybody, hand choose <laughs> that you had cross sales with and let them do the same. And we could start building some residual income. And we'll kind of unpack what that looks like for you if you have interest in that. Uh, Hank, talk to us a little bit about how you get stock at EXP. This is lane two. How do I yep. earn visible stock? So we have a couple different ways of doing it. The first one is, is our sustainable equity program, which means that you receive shares from your first transaction when you fully cap. And what that means is once you pay in $16,000, you're not paying anything in um, beyond the transaction fee. Um, when an agent that you sponsor brings in somebody um, and they close their first transaction, you get some stock. The stock that I've been awarded by just showing up and helping people join the company we are not that far away from cashing in and paying off our mortgage. By just doing what I was already doing, we are getting close. It's a mathematical equation. The Icon Agent Award. Now, when it comes to stocks, I can tell you on a scale of one to 10, I might be at like a 0.69. So here's what I'd like for you to do. When I joined the company, it was uh, 96 cents. So you do the math, $16,000 divided by 96 cents. Now do the math on what the stock is today. The people that joined the company in Icon back then, who thinks that their wealth is doing better because they were in the right business model? By doing what you're already doing, which is selling real estate, you have other ways to win. Then you have the agent equity program. When you enroll to be paid 5% out of every transaction, you get stock at a 10% discount, instant equity. Now, here's the thing is many of you are paying um, you know, royalty fees. You're already paying that 5%. Now we have enough evidence where we can actually go back, look at your production and look at the cost that it's cost you by not being in this business model. If you have heard about eXp prior today and you decided not to join, we can do the math on how much money and how much wealth it has cost your family within reason. And I'd like to show that to your partner because many of you like me, I have loyalty to your broker. I was loyal to my Remax broker. I cried when I left, yet there was nothing more I could do for my family. And that's why I went to Keller Williams. The reality is who are you more loyal to, your broker or your family? Sorry, go ahead. What did I miss there, Rich? No, nothing. So, so like by Hank's example, if you got uh, $16,000, if you icon, we're in an 80-20 commission split. We have a screen that's gonna break this down. When the 20% hits $16,000, which think of as a deductible if you're not familiar with the cap. If you're not familiar with the cap, that means that you're endlessly paying. So at 16,000 EXP uh, brings you to 100% commission, right? And then if you ICON and do 20 more deals or make over $500,000 of gross commission, and we'll, 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 we'll get into the details of that, you would have gotten that $16,000 back. Hank, if you got that $16,000, what was the stock trading for when you came over? 96 cents. Okay, so 96 cents, um, he got $16,000 at. That would have been a million dollars at today's value at $60. So like if you have, in the last three years, if you iconed and got your 16 grand back in stock, then you've experienced a ride from $2 a, a share to its high a couple of weeks ago at $82, right? That, that would have made you a millionaire and you never brought an agent over here and you never did anything different but what you did all the years before that, which is help buyers and sellers close on property that they're interested in, okay? It's a very different thing here. Now let's talk about uh, the Icon Agent Award and the Sustainable Equity Plan, this light blue, these light blue boxes. There's a three-year vesting period with that. So here's the good news is that they put those handcuffs on you because I would have sold the stock at $9 because I was exuberant. And at 22, I was like a little kid that found a lottery ticket. I would have sold it all. And I would have sold it at 45 and I would have sold it at 55. And when it hit 82, I would have hated myself forever. So uh, I haven't sold any because I'm, I'm, I'm bullish on this company because I know what the growth looks like. I imagine if our agents are doubled agent count that our stock is going to have some parallel to that. But, but you're not giving stock advice. No, you I'm not. As, financial as, counsel. As Hank, my life coach, has uh, got me out of trouble by saying that. That's just my own personal opinion. Now, the equity program has no three-year vesting period from the date that it was awarded. You could take the 5% of your commission and get the stock at a 10% discount and then sell it the next day. So if you had a closing right now, you had a $10,000 commission, they would take $500 out of it, buy the stock at $60, uh, $60 uh, uh, minus the 10% discount. So you get at 54 bucks. 
If it goes to 62 tomorrow, you sell it all right back. That's totally yours to play with and be a day trader or a long hold or a short hold, whatever you want. So it's not just about corporate here at this company because we're shareholders. So they created a panel of agents that are scattered throughout the region. Elizabeth Riley, one of our coaches and partners here is right here, <laughs> right? Yep, um, uh, she's an, a six year icon agent in, in Texas. And they are the voice for what's going on in the real estate business on the streets. It's very important for uh, uh, the corporate to know what we're facing from agent to agent. So let's move over to lane three for a second. I know, again, there's a lot to handle here. We're 35 minutes into it, but let's talk a little bit about the ability to invite people that you want to this company. Now, if you're not interested and you love being a technician and you never want to do anything, which is exactly how I started this, uh, and then I had my phone ring up when I left and I was like, well, you know, come on over. Here's my vision. I have no idea if it's going to work. We were doing $16 million of business in the Charlotte MLS when I came over here in 2017. This year, we did $1.4 billion. That's because my phone rang. And some of these agents said, look, man, we got to get better prepared for retirement because 20 years down the road at this pace with another downturn or another two downturns isn't cutting the mustard. So I said, listen, guys, there's a way that EXP awards us and it's called revenue share. So if you take the $16,000 that they, that they get from each agent, they cut it up in seven generations. Tier one is the first generation. These are all the agents that you bring over to the company. EXP will give you three and a half percent of their gross commission every single year they're with EXP as a shareholder and a partner, okay? So if Hank brought me over, I would have a $10,000 commission. I would get 80%, EXP would get 20%. They would take 3.5% of the gross commission, not profit share, which is always if there's any profit. And we have no idea what the numbers are, so just take the check. This is different. Revenue share, $10,000 gross commission, I get $350 of my commission gets wired into Hank's account for bringing me to the company and help coaching and sponsoring me along. Now, who does it come out of? Not the 80%, comes out of EXP's 20%. Very cool. And that will happen from my first transaction all the way till I cap. Once I go to 100%, guess how much money they're going to share with Hank? Zero. There's nothing to share. Okay. So from my first deal to when I cap, which is 80, 20, up until the 16,000 is paid, which is roughly about $2.66 million if we're doing 3% commissions. Then at that point, Hank doesn't get paid anything on me. And then when the new year starts and my anniversary year starts again, I go back to 80, 20, and he starts getting paid three and a half percent at a time. If I cap, that will equate to $2,800. So Hank will make $2,800 on, on, on all of my income, and it's paid by EXP. Not, not, I mean, that's the best part. It's not out of my commission, and it goes to Hank, because EXP would not know me if it wasn't a grassroots ability to grow. All right, so listen, I say, Hank, I'm starting to get jealous that you're making $2,800 and going on vacation for me once a year, but I do appreciate all the coaching. I think I have a few agents that are sick of paying rent forever, have no technology, have no caps, have no support. Can I bring them over to EXP? He says, yeah, no problem. So I bring over Nakia. And Nakia, for me, is my first generation agent. I'll get three and a half percent, just like Hank gets on me, up to 2,800 bucks. But if I just came over two weeks ago, EXP has already pre-thought that. So they bring Hank back in the mix. And they say, listen, it's Rich's generation one, but Hank, you indirectly have Nakia as part of your organization. She's your generation two. And Hank will get 4% of Nakia's gross commission. So when I get a check for $350, Hank gets a check for 400 bucks. Pretty cool. Who's it come out of? EXP, because we've limited our expenses, right? This is how we're growing. So what's even better is Nakia says, hey, listen, I was the three-time realtor of the year in Maryland, branch manager for Caldwell Banker, brought over 53 affiliates in Maryland. I'm a big deal in Maryland. As soon as I go, went over to EXP, my phone blew up. And I brought over 50 agents in five months. True story, right? She gets, Hank gets two and a half percent. I get 4% and she gets three and a half percent. So for every first generation agent that, that you bring over to the company, anywhere in, in 10 countries, guys, South Africa, Portugal, France, I have a 60 agent uh, brokerage coming over in France. I've never met the guy firsthand. The UK, um, uh, India, uh, did I say Mexico? Um, Australia, Canada, all 50 states. We're in more markets than anybody else in the United States is. We're in 460 markets. We own Showcase that gave us the IDX to have access to every MLS in the United States. 
how cool is that going to be when we create our, our competition for Zillow apps, right? So every agent that you bring over, you can make up to $2,800 on their performance every year. It's residual. Now, every agent they bring over, like six degrees from Kevin Bacon, you can make up to $3,200 on. And every agent they bring over, you can make up to $2,500 on. And it just continues to go down in seven, in seven generations. And you have to unlock these, right? EXP doesn't want you to get lucky and bring over a company of 5,000 agents. Wouldn't it be sustainable financially? So you have to bring over five first generation agents, five people directly to unlock all the people they bring over. And you have to bring over 10 people personally, first generation to unlock the third generation. And 15 people unlocks the fourth generation and 20 unlocks the fifth and 25 unlocks the sixth and 40 unlocks the whole puzzle. So I'll give you a small example. I'm not gonna talk money because it's not important. What's most important at this point is that this is an opportunity for every single person on this call. I brought over, over the course of 40 months, so I didn't set any land speed records. I brought over 54 agents to this company. These are the people that I wanted to work with that I knew well, that I had known for years that lived in different states. These are agents that were able to share a cap because they were a domestic partnership or a married couple. These are agents that were able to sell in multiple states and it goes toward the same cap because they're not paying separate franchise owners or different real estate boutiques. I brought over 54 agents that brought over 260 generation two agents that brought over 230 generation three agents that brought over 315 generation four agents. And that's how my 54 agents that I brought over here has compounded into 1300 agents growing at about 85 agents a month. We are exponentially growing our family's futures. In addition, if Hank and I are on a bus accident, not that we ever drive buses or sit together on them, then our wives have a year to get their license or our kids and it's inheritable to our family. So whatever we're building in our empires is transferable upon our death to our families. Hank, you might have something to say here. Yes, I do. I've been, I've been sitting here on my hands because I can't talk with all my hands. Two things. Revenue is not manipulated. Profit is. How many of you are meeting with your tax accountants right now, your tax attorneys, and figuring out how to limit your profit so that you pay less to the IRS? See, that's what I love about revenue share is it is predictable. I know when I bring someone on what that value is. And if I help them outgrow me and help them bring in people in, it's a math equation. How many of you on January 1st were starting over with your income? Meaning you're only as good as your next 90 days. Here's the freedom that revenue share gives you. On January 1st, I had 679 agents. What that means is there's a math equation for the income that I'm going to most likely make in 2021. For the first time in my life, I have recurring income. Everybody write that down. Recurring income is a gift from the gods. Ha! Now, when I first started in 2016, we had an idea of what it might look like. Now we have math. There's predictions. I know with 679 agents with, with, within margin of error, I can predict what my cash flow is going to look like. And here's what Glenn Sanford has helped with these revenue streams. If you don't have an income problem, how many of you besides me and Rich know how to make money? Yep. Who besides Rich and I have ever had cash flow problems? Raise your hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to help you solve the income problem, which most of you already have. We're going to help you solve the cash flow problem. And part of revenue share helps with that because now you have predictable income. Now we're going to referee our life, relationships, energy, and finances. We take care of our relationships. We get the right energy. We don't have to worry about the finances. Why? Because this business model makes sense. You're not starting over each and every year. Rich, I got to tell you, revenue share is the most brilliant thing ever. And, and I get way too passionate about it because I've seen it change lives, including mine. It sounds cliche. Go look at my Facebook page. You cannot convince me to say anything that I don't want to. I don't care about looking good or being right. I'm just as messed up as the rest of you. This business model is unbelievable. Take it over, Rich. Amen. So, you know, most of my agents that have come over here have brought over six of their friends to this company and helped each of those six bring over one agent. If you bring over six capping agents and each of the generation two agents cap, you got $36,000 of passive income. I mean, that pays your mortgage payment, probably pays the fancy cars that we need in this business, uh, pays a lot of different things, takes a lot of anxiety off. 
one thing I know about realtors is uh, how many realtors here have screen time over seven hours a day? How many realtors phones blow up as soon as they take their suitcase out to go on that once a year vacation? How many realtors have their spouse or partner roll their eyes when they're on the cell phone at eight o'clock at night, right? Taking that anxiety down is a true gift and you have the opportunity to do it, opt in or opt out, cost nothing. So let's talk about our world, right? So, I mean, Hank and I are gonna go meet in the virtual world for a meeting. We're not gonna get on an airplane and find a comfortable place in Kansas City to have a steak together, right? I mean, this is crazy. So this is how the future operates. The only difference is we've been doing it for 11 years. You go in there, my avatar's got gray hair, doesn't need to lose 10 pounds for New Year's, always well-dressed, always shaved, always looking sharp, sounds just like me, so there's one negative, right? Hank's avatar's got a, a, a brown beard, orange hat, walks around, I mean, looks like Hank, sounds like Hank. We use these virtual platforms, this virtual office to get all of our large-scale meetings done. Our convention this year, our shareholders meeting, when were you guys at a shareholders meeting this year? You're not a shareholder. You don't get invited to those. We all do, right? Team collaboration, all of our broker in charges, our departments, work anywhere. I'll click on this video, but I think some of you guys might have to hit yourself in the neck with a tranquilizer because I know we got a lot coming out your way. But there's a video that you can click on and it shows you the whole world and how we operate as avatars, okay? Ask us if you want to take a look at that at the end. A third of us, are going around without health insurance. We're high bankruptcy risks. Considering that most realtors are female and the average age of a realtor in the United States is 58 years old, why do we have all these agents out there with no health coverage or bad health coverage? EXP put a fix to that. We created three programs in a health savings account, which dropped my Blue Cross Blue Shield for my family of four from $1,400 and change to $855 a month. The only thing that changed for me is that my deductibles were half what I was paying. My monthly premium was about 60% of what I was paying. All my doctors are the same, but I have a different insurance card in my wallet. So there's a lot for you to, to learn about the eXp healthcare. I want you to take a look at it. So listen, when we're talking about a super highway, I want a dashboard that gives me a pulse on every part of my business, my sales, my social media, all of my people, I want a communication method to get through them. I want all my marketing, all of my lead generation, my contact manager, all one-stop shopping. Well, it's done. It's called eXp Enterprise. eXp Enterprise is your own dashboard, okay? If you don't have this at a company, if you don't have a tab that says finance, that means because none of the ownership is sharing anything with you. The finance button is you. You're their tab, but we don't have a tab. We all have a tab here. You could click on finance and check out all of your stock allotment and check out your portfolio by the minute every single day. You could click on your transactions and get a full rundown of what you have in the pipeline. You could go contact support if you just want to send a quick email or work chat or, or live chat somebody. You can go into our agent directory and find all 41,000 of us in this country. You can go on your profile and build a robust profile so you can get leads from other EXP agents. You can hit your dashboard and plug right into your social media, your Twitter, your Facebook. Um, you can go into your SkySlope. If you don't know what SkySlope is, that's what we use for, our, for all of our contracts. It's a contract management thing. That's what allows us to be paperless. If anybody's green here, this is a good thing, right? I'm not exactly a very green person, but why do I want trees cut down when we can do this all digitally? Review transactions from any device, sign documents digitally through uh, uh, DigiSign. Run our businesses with high security, protect our people, protect the public. All here, when I put all of my listing presentation into SkySlope, our brokers review it to make sure that I'm not missing something important like the listing contract or the measurements for the house. And then when I go under contract, I upload that, that in SkySlope. And when all of the boxes are checked and I feel like uh, I am commission proof, then they will send a closing disclosure agreement to the paralegal and I'll get paid and wired that same day. Meanwhile, EXP is waiting four days for the check to manually hit Washington, right? So we are in an awesome ability with SkySlope to, to have the whole backend set up, set up for us. I don't have to chase down my money and tell who goes where. They send a wire to my account the day of closing and I don't even have to do that work. Workplace by Facebook. If you're, Hank, talk about workplace. I've been talking too long. Okay. Here's what I love about Workplace is it's instant access. And, and if I ever have a question, I go into one of the groups and I have over 40,000 agents that are my agent partners that are reaching out to me. 
Um, I don't think I've ever had a question where if I've gone into workplace, I've gone in there at three o'clock in the morning and had Stacy Onan, the president of our company, who, by the way, I threw into the pool at an event. I said, hey, Stacy, core value, fun. I'm going to throw you in. And she left. She goes, Hank. And I took her over my shoulders and threw her in at three o'clock in the morning. She's responding to me on workplace, giving me answers. Now, it, it, it's unbelievable the amount of access that you have in collaboration. It's like I've never seen before because here's why. I help Rich. I might not be making, I might not be getting paid in revenue share, yet I know by helping Rich grow his company, my stock's most likely going to go up. And so we're agent partners and workplace is just part of that collaboration. So, so just like your Facebook, where you guys can argue about sex, religion, and politics, well, Facebook created a workplace for us to use professionally. And we are the largest user of workplace in the world. We have all of our agents on the same interface that you're used to with Facebook interacting with each other. And, and what comes of that? Well, collaboration, instant uh, 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 answers and support, uh, the ability to do live training. We're live streaming right now this call to a, a, a much larger group of 938 agents right now as we speak through Workplace. Referrals, the most important part, right? So I have a, a client that's moving to uh, uh, San Francisco because uh, the mass exit's creating good real estate deals, right? I sell their house in Lake Norman. They, I go on Workplace, I find an agent that has a solid profile, I work chat them, I say, hey, will you take a 30% referral? And they said, no, I'll take a 25. And I'm like, all right, that's fine. I'll do 25%. They get on an airplane to San Francisco. The other EXP agent saying, hey, Rich, look, we're live on Facebook. Here's the clients. Here's their house that's 700 square feet that they're going to buy. Thanks for selling their 5,000 square foot house in North Carolina. I said, no problem. That's awesome. I get my wire right into my account. Simple. We are doing cross-pollination referrals like no other company because there's no reason to ever use another company use EXP agents. We have agents in more places in this country geographically than any other company's ever been in. And how easy is it to find the agent? Instantly. And how good is the experience? It's, it's pretty intimate. And the best thing is, is why, what's the best part of it? It's another sale for EXP and we're all shareholders. That's how Facebook works in short. CRM and lead generation. Hank, how savvy are you on KB Corp? Not at all. I run a 100% okay. business relationship business. <laughs> time to eat a Twinkie, sit on your hands. I'm not very savvy either, but KB Core is where I got my free website that I set up for eXp. So KB Core gives you your free website. It also gives you unlimited landing pages. So I could set up individual landing pages on every listing that I have or neighborhoods or first time home buyers or FHA loans or luxury real estate or commercial, all the things that we sell. It is a, an unbelievable lead generation tool that is not owned by eXp. One of the very few things that isn't. You can go look it up right now. It costs six to 800 bucks a month, 1500 bucks to start it up. They have live support. Go ahead and take a look at it. It's just like Boomtown. And it's just like a lot of these other huge, huge lead generators, but we get it as part of our $85 a month fee. Don't worry, we're gonna explain the fees because I know you've heard little bits of it, okay? Uh, straight away to the fees very soon. The CRM and lead generation is what KB Core, it's a hybrid. It uses a contact manager and then it uses predictive behavior and artificial intelligence when they're on your webpage looking for real estate. So I don't know about you guys, but I've had clients many times say, Rich, I'm looking for a $700,000 house. I show them $700,000 listings, they hate them. On their own, they're looking on realtor.com at 850. But when they're on my website, it shows that they've changed their search and intuitively sends them properties based on what they're looking at. I don't have to do that. It's an autopilot, right? In addition to that, I can see that their activity has gone way up or they favorited a house. An excellent time for me to contact them. I can call them or text them right through the KB Core lead generation. We have 50 to 100 hours live education that covers KB Core, but in addition, they have their own live chat support or dial up support that you can talk to. Unbelievable. So, all of that's provided here at EXP on day one. Let's talk about marketing and branding. I'm going to let Hank talk about the branding part because he does a much better job of branding than I do. But I can talk to you about the marketing part. Um, I ran a team called the Lake Crew. My business card's transparent, right? Because that's how we do business. We're consultants. We're not realtors. We just have a real estate affiliation because we pay NAR, right? Um, we sold $43 million of business in 2017 with three of us, one of them as, uh, as an assistant, okay? My card has my logo, TLC, 
EXP small on the bottom. Looks totally different than Hank's car, right? This company is here to give me autonomy and to embrace my brand. Front and center is my brand. I have 5,000 templates to make listing flyers, door hangers, coffee cups, hats, uh, uh, signs, order my signs, any letterhead, any marketing tools you ever imagined. We've had graphic designers for years create content of a, of a, of a bandwidth that will blow your mind, instant access. All your business cards, everything that you can imagine, all ordered through eXp, already pre-generated. So it takes you five minutes to create your flyers, your commercial flyers. In addition, if you don't have your own brand, this is what it looks like. But if you do, it's about your logo front and center. That's why independent companies are coming over and bringing over, you know, powerhouse realty powered by eXp. Tell me, Hank, how your branding has been able to fit into this company. Here's what I love about our leader, Glenn. He celebrates him being weird. So he allows us to stand out in front of the company. And here's what I found is there's emotional intelligence involved in the decision making. I'm yet to have somebody who's reasonable not be supported with, with what they're looking to do with their brand. It just hasn't happened. Now, obviously, we got to follow within state and local regulations. Yet this business is about you, not about EXP. And Rich, we're running short on time, so we got to go. Let's go. So last thing here, these are the people that we are partnered with. Use whoever you want. And then let's just talk a little bit about commission splits since we are short on time. We are at an 80-20 commission split. When you hit $16,000, you go straight to 100% trans, uh, uh, commission. Only at 100% uh, transactions do they put a $250 transaction fee uh, uh, they implement that. So I'm at an 80, 20, no transaction fee. I go to hundred percent because my 20% hit 16,000. Only then I start paying a $250 transaction fee. If I do 20 transactions after I'm at hundred percent, I'm an icon agent and they gift me back the $16,000 back in stock. Also, they reduce the $250 transaction fee to $75. Okay. So you have two ways to become an icon agent. One is by transactions. You do 20 transactions at 100%, which is a referral, a lease, or a sale, not just sales, or your gross commission is over $500,000. Our standard cost, all here on the right side, very simple. $149 gives you access to everything that we covered. $85 a month, whether you're selling 2,000 homes a year or none. We have a $25 broker review fee per transaction to make sure that all your files are in line and uploaded. And then we have a $40 per transaction fee, which is your E&O insurance. And that caps at $500. This is the entire commission split. Structure. Let me make one point here. This is agent math. What I want for you to do is business owner math. And when we look at agent math, there's going to be cheaper out there. Who knows agents out there that'll work cheaper than what you do. So be careful when you're comparing price versus cost, because this is agent math. When you compare business owner math, there's no other model that compares to business owner math than the EXP model. If so, let Rich and I know, we'd like to see it. So if you're, if you're iconing here, you're working for hundred percent, you got the stock gifted back to you at $16,000. You have your own website, healthcare. We have an iBuyer program. We don't have time to cover that. You got 600 people in the world here to help you. You've got an entire group of people that came right before you that introduced the person that introduced you to help support you. We have 50 to 100 hours of live education. You get a thousand business cards the, the day that you sign up. We have um, so much robust technology available uh, at these costs. And then this is what our numbers are. We're the top independent firm in the country. We're number three on closed transactions. Uh, we're number one on the top mover. Uh, number two on the sales volume increase. So we're just continuing to climb up the ladder because we're having good agents invite good agents at this company. So at this point, we are right at 58 minutes. I think we started four minutes after, so not too bad. Um, I'm happy to open up the microphones. If you have any questions or we went through something too fast, we can spend a little bit more time now. So congratulations, you guys made through what is a four hour presentation in 54 minutes. I need a drink, okay. Um, anybody have any other questions, comments, anything they would like to add uh, to the conversation? We had 87 people in the beginning of this call. You know, the revenue share typically turns people off. It turned me off from ever going to Keller Williams for 12 years. Um, what I realized with the revenue share is that at some point we can't have any like imposter syndrome. 
or, um, or ambition guilt for not wanting to have a bigger role in the business. And Gary Keller felt that way at some point. Dave Linegar felt that way. I don't know who Caldwell and Banker are, but obviously those two folks felt that way. We have the ability to, to gently put our toes in the pool here at EXP and build out some residual income if you have interest. All right, mics are open. Anybody would like uh, to talk, jump on in. Hey, Richard and Hank, can you guys talk about uh, new agents uh, joining and the mentorship program? Because I have like two people on and they, they want to find out about that. Good question. Hank, you want that or you want me to cover it? Nope, I got an 11 o'clock call, I got to leave. So thanks for having me. I appreciate everybody. Feel free to message me on Facebook. If you have any questions, I'm happy to help um, you join through the person that brought you here. All right, very good. So so Rummy, new agents work well with EXP. They assign a mentor for your first three deals. So you're gonna be at a 60-40 commission split for your first three deals. As soon as you're on deal four, you're back to what the rest of us are on. There's no special deals. Everyone's at an 80-20. If you want to get to 100% fast, then just hustle. Tom and I uh, that normally do this presentation, we normally cap in about five weeks. So you're at a 60-40 commission split. You have the sponsor that brought you over to help you for the rest of your career. And then you have a mentor to help you all the way through and hold your hand because we need hand-holding when we're new at this. It's so much to learn for the first three deals. On top of it, you have all your state brokers and you have 600 employees in the cloud there to help support you from 9 to 8 p.m. Eastern time, okay? Um, if you are, like to be a mentor and you like to educate people, I became a mentor because I thought that realtors needed more education based on 22 years of working in the business. So you would get, of that 20% extra that that new agent loses on their first three deals, 10% goes to EXP because they know that the broker and charges are gonna have to step up. And then 10% goes to the mentor. So you can get certified and be a mentor. At one point I had 20 people that I was getting 10% of their commissions and I had 20 students in the field. I realized very early that 20 is too many. So I, I dropped that down and now I never go over about seven or eight. But what's very good is like my two, my two first two students from me were both under 30 years old. They both icon this year. That means they both did about eight or $9 million of business. They both got their $16,000 back. Both of them are now team leaders, one of a team of 12 and one of a team of 35. And the oldest one just turned 30, 31. So we have mentors here to help guide you. Also, what we find is there's a lot of millennials entering the business and getting their education on their timeline and not having to be a burden or drive into an office that's closed or waiting for someone to, to help them along with 50, 60, 80 other agents is very attractive. So we're finding that millennials are, are coming to EXP in, in huge amounts, frankly. All right, any other questions? Andrew. So hey, Rich, can, can you explain how uh, stock award options have changed over time and, and how those are yes. in the future and how it's protected? Yes. Okay. So it's, we still have $160 million of shares of stock. To go. So we're going to be getting stock for as long as, as we can forecast. Um, up until we were at 15,000 agents, they used to give us much more of it. Uh, we used to get a, a, a cat. It was a, it was a deescalating stock amount. So the people that came over in 2009 probably got tons of it. But when I came over in 2017, which is all I can speak of, we were getting about 175 shares of stock when you closed your first transaction and when you brought agents over. And the stock was valued at much less, so it hasn't financially impacted us much, but the share amounts were very large because we were a very small company. Once we hit 15,000 agents, they said, listen, we're going to have to make this sustainable for you know, the next several decades, so we have to get an allotment for it. So they've changed a lot. You used to be able to get 20% off the stock with 10% of your commission, with 5% of your commission. They reduced that to 10%. Uh, off off uh, the stock, um, and that happened at 15,000 agents. So it happened around 2000, uh, maybe 18. And then in addition, we get $200 of stock when you close your first transaction. So they just give you a flat amount, $400 of stock when you bring an agent over and they close their first transaction because they know that your help was needed. And then $400 of stock when you cap. And the thing that stayed always the same is that your entire paid in part of your commission, your $16,000 cap, you get 100% of that at EXP. That's always remained the same. Does that better answer it for you, Andrew? It does. Um, yeah, thank you. 
Okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. So where we're at now, our stock uh, that we covered on this screen is the long plan stock award system. You know, if you came over to EXP and Icon the last three years, so I was an Icon agent. I was doing 13 to $15 million individually, plus what my team was doing. And I was a listing agent. And all I did was list property and sell property. I was a real estate appraiser for eight years before that. So I, I was kind of a sniper. I, I was able to establish values very, very uh, competently and then somehow convey it to sellers to where they would feel inclined uh, to use me as an agent. And I was word of mouth business by year two. And what happened was as a listing agent, I was paying about $100,000 by paying 15% of my commissions endlessly to my last company. And it just it was ridiculous. So when I came over to eXp, I figured, listen, at the very worst, I'll get the $16,000 back in Icon. Well, the last three years of getting awarded $16,000 of stock for doing what I always did is now over a million dollars of stock portfolio, if you icon the last three years. And what's happening in front of us is so important to know. Vera Bella, the company that created our technology, Gary Keller tried to buy that for $10 million, which was very smart of him. He's normally making smart decisions. But because we had such a long standing relationship with them, they gave us first right of refusal and we bought them. And then COVID happened. And now we've got the Department of Defense and all these other huge companies. Hewlett Packard is putting Virabella, which we own as agents under the EXPI stock. They're putting Virabella on every Hewlett Packard computer coming out of China. Our forward trajectory of where we're at right now is unbelievable. So this is a very good time to be at EXP and do what you've always done, but get compensated differently, more as an owner, you know? Um, Hank is very bullish on being an entrepreneur. As you can see, our presentation was different today than it normally is. But you know what? It's, it, it's important to understand that even if you don't opt in. Does anybody else have any other questions on anything that we covered? I have a question for you. Cool. Come on, Karen. Uh, mortgages and insurance. Yes. Is there a way for us to benefit from, from uh, those two entities? No, I mean, if you want to, you mean title insurance? Yes. Yes. Okay. So some people have title insurance. We have our own title insurance at EXP. You're not forced to use them, but no, the, the short answer is no on both. We have our own mortgage and our own title insurance. Um, uh, I thought about having a title insurance company. Most of these firms that you see that pay agents hundred percent commission, all they are title agent companies, right? They're, they're getting all their title through those agents and that's how they're able to make money and not charge the agent hundred percent, you know, or, or less than hundred percent. Um, at EXP, you can own your own title agency and you can own your own mortgage company, but our revenue share is the way that we recycle. Just to, just to be clear on that, Karen. Good question. Did you bring your other uh, twin Karen with you today on the call? Actually, yes. I, actually I'm the Karen you're talking to. The one that asked all the questions last week, I'm just using her iPad. Karen. But yeah, she's right here too. We're okay. listening hello. together. Hello, hello. Yeah, we we loved we loved the presentation last week, and I said I got to go back and hear it again. <laughs> it was it was radically different this week than it was because my, my normal co-host uh, uh, Tom is in Utah taking a vacation. Nice. Uh, the beauty of revenue share. He's not worried. He's able to actually enjoy his life a bit. So, yeah. um, but he returns next week, and our presentation will probably uh, uh, boomerang back to what we normally do. Uh, we still have 56 people on this call, so if anyone has any other questions, I promise you, somebody else is sitting on that question. Feel free to open up your mic. Karen, if you want to ask any more, I'm happy to talk to you as well. Oh, I think I got one more here as well. Hey, hi, Rich. Thanks so much. Hey, um, hey. so yeah, could you touch back on um, how we are set up to compete with Zillow? That really interests me. Yes, yes. So first of all, I'll see you Thursday, maybe. I don't know if Justin's talked to you. Yeah, yeah I'll be all right, I'm going to Asheville on Thursday. Um, so yeah, so this is the coolest part about EXP and I don't wanna go down a rabbit hole, but I'm not concerned about Keller Williams. We're gonna be bigger than them in no time. I've watched this company go from 3,800 agents uh, to, to 42,000 agents, right? So 41 and change. So I'm not worried about that. What I am concerned about is Zillow because in Charlotte, we have Zillow offices selling real estate. So we've been feeding this monster like the Trojan horse forever. And now they're gonna start selling real estate. So I think this is a big deal. And Glenn Sanford thought this was a big deal a long time ago. Thank God, uh, uh, off the scale of the way that he thinks, he got in front of this. So he bought a company called Showcase. And Showcase, by purchasing them, 
allowed him to have access to every MLS in all 460 markets throughout the United States. So why does everyone use Zillow? It's not for the Zestimates. We all know those things are garbage, right? Everyone uses Zillow because it's so awesome to use. Like, I'd like to know how far Starbucks is from my house. And I'd like to look at property in, in Kansas City and then Manhattan. Well, Manhattan has no MLS, but then, you know, Silicon Valley and Miami. I love looking at real estate everywhere. And Zillow makes it very easy for you to look at it. And most people don't use Realtor.com. Let's face it. We know what the data is on that. So Glenn is going to compete heads up with Zillow. And all of the EXP agents are going to be the agents that get the leads, not going to be sold out to every other competing firm. And this ability to have access to every MLS will, is allowing us to create an app to be a public interface user app that we can give away for free. And all of the leads that Zillow is getting just by doing the same recipe, EXP agents will be able to get because we are the only other company that has access to every MLS. I don't know if you remember Suzanne, but back when I was like, so I'm in my mid forties, back when I was in my late twenties, I remember the conversations where Zillow was going to each MLS board and going to the NAR and the NAR said, no, we're not giving you all of them at once. So they would go to each board and, and, and lobby. And everybody ended up selling out because the short-term thinker was, if I don't have my listing on Zillow, I don't have as much exposure. So they weaseled their way in and we let them in to, to be in every MLS there is. And now, instead of not only are they like absolutely extorting us for four, five, twenty thousand dollars a month in Zillow things, but soon we're not even going to have that ability. They're just going to say, hey, go use a twenty dollar an hour employee and they'll help you find their house. If you take away all the lead generation and sales out of this business, it's easy to make everybody an employee and not a 1099. So, so I'm very excited. We already have this, Suzanne, in the beta program with 40,000 people in Seattle using it. So, so we are not far away. Glenn is not far away from anything. He's the most impatient person I've ever met at this level. When we go to the, you know, Hank mentioned the influencer meeting when we all got uh, invited to Washington, but I couldn't make that because I had, um, uh, at that point, uh, a seven month old son and I want to leave my wife stranded because she hadn't slept for months. Right. So I was the only person on a live zoom, which was very awkward, but I was part of that entire meeting. And the way that meeting goes down is Glenn's like, listen, what do you guys think? We go into breakout rooms. We have brainstorming sessions. The top agents in the country create ideas. We, we shoot holes in it. And then we scrub the top list of things that we're going to work on. And then he has his leadership team. And the first thing he asks on every single round is, how long till this is done? When can this be ready by? Is this a March 1st idea? Is this a June 1st idea? I don't like June 1st. How do we get it to May 15th? It's unbelievable, the process. It's like, it's like speed bingo. Like, honestly, you're trying to keep your five cards in front of you and you're like, all right, you know? So Glenn is not the kind of guy that is that let any company get in front of him dominating. And he's certainly not the kind of guy to get this big and let Zillow change the way that we're compensated and the way realtors perform. They've been saying that we're going to go out of style for 20 years, but you know what? We are going to be limited in number at some point. And Glenn, I think, and EXP agents are going to fight that heads up right now when it matters the most, where they only have a few handpicked Zillow offices throughout the country, Charlotte being one of them. So I'm very, very sensitive to this topic, you know. Does that better answer it, Suzanne? Yeah, that was a great answer. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm not worried about how I sell real estate in 2021. I think we're going to have a bull market. We have no inventory. We have low interest rates. Uh, um, you know, uh, I think we're gonna have a good 2021. I don't think 2022 is going to be that good, but I'm really concerned about being licensed in 2030. And so is the owner of our firm. And that's very important. You know, my last company, uh, uh, you know, they've never even had a conversation like this, you know? So, um, okay. Anybody else have any other questions? Good questions, uh, this week. Looks like all that. The A students stayed behind here. Um, all right, we'll cut it. We'll cut it short. Um, next Wednesday at 10 a.m., we do it live. Same link, different presenter. I'm going to bring back my teddy bear, Tom Hawker, who will uh, 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 stay on task. Hank and I are both sporadic, so we jump around a lot. But I think we needed a good jolt to the system today because honestly, this is an opportunity to not be a one man a one man show. If we sell real estate and that's all we ever do, and I come down with a very serious chronic disease, 
Now I'm worried about my health. I'm worried about my emotional state and I'm very worried about my finances. And I don't hey, want- hey, Go ahead. Hey, Rich? Yes, Daniel, jump in. Hey, Rich, uh, this is Daniel White in, in Wilmington, North Carolina. Um, just wanted to uh, ask you, uh, do you have any uh, insight into what the next uh, countries that are coming online uh, will be? I have a guess. Can we substitute the word insight with guess? Sure, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm most uh, interested in uh, is Costa Rica on that list? Okay, here, let me better answer your question instead of the, the top layer question. How do sure. we open a country? Is that a better question, right? So, yeah, that's a better, okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's good. I love, I, I love, if you're asking this, Daniel, you, you and I are sitting at the same card table, buddy. This is exactly how I think. So when I, we opened up the UK through one of my first generation a agents, Barry Pulver. So the way that we open up a new country is by critical mass. So if you have a brokerage owner that's watching Inman and reading Swan Poll and all of that stuff and hears about EXP and now can diversify into an American market, into a global market, if they have over a hundred agents at their company, that's catalyst enough to consider opening up a country. What Michael Valdez, who, who was a Caldwell Banker and Sotheby's top guy, Realogy, the company Realogy that owns all these companies, he was their international growth guy for 15 years. He opened up 73 countries and managed 110 countries over 15 years in the same role, okay? Or in the same company, but in the same type of role, all the way to where he graduated at the top. And what his vision is, is to open up 10 new countries a year. Right now, Daniel, we opened up Mexico three weeks ago. We have 400 agents in Mexico already, okay? So in Costa Rica, by the way, I know a lot about Costa Rica, and we have all of our slides in Spanish already, right? So you can go into the world and get the Spanish slides and share it. And what he's trying to do is grab a bunch of small brokerages, get them on board, and then launch on the same day with critical mass. Or if you have a monster or large brokerage, that might be alone enough to open up a new country. So that's our strategy. In my opinion, I wouldn't be shocked if Italy and Germany open up. All right. Does that, does that scratch the pitch? Yeah, yeah, it does. I mean, um, I, I have family that lives in Costa Rica. And so um, actually I had to jump off the call because my uncle called me. He was like, uh, I've got a guy who wants to buy, you know, 10 acres of oceanfront land in Costa Rica. Uh, how can we make this happen? Gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, great, great phone call. I paused myself for that as well. So Costa Rica, they don't even have real estate licenses in a lot of those areas. So right. we got to get through the red tape, but but we we can and will. So okay. um, yeah. So listen, on any on anybody that's got a hundred brokerage uh, 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 company, send me a work chat, and um, I will uh, take over the phone call with you, and we'll work together. And that's how we open up the UK. That's how I got agents in Canada and in Australia as well. Once the country's opened, you could just sign them up. So there's no more critical mass needed, okay? Okay. All right, good. Be safe driving. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Thank you. All right. All right, so let's, let's, let's pull the plug, guys. Next Wednesday, 10 o'clock. This is the biggest call we've ever had, I think. 87 people, Nakia. So um, it was live streamed through Zoom and uh, uh, through Workplace. So uh, we'll meet you Wednesday, 10 a.m. You could either watch us in EXP Workplace, EXP Family Tree is our group called, EXP Family Tree. Yeah. Or you can just come on the Zoom call and watch us live, yeah. all right? And we had 89 today. 89, all right. And I'm gonna hang out guys uh, with Keely because I think she wanted me to stay on the call for just a few minutes.